video after four months later i decided to go ahead and install or go through the process of making the my steam deck uh, capable of streaming xbox game pass okay right now at, a, at this moment you cannot install games from xbox game pass natively on this device because this is linux not windows unless you install windows but that's a whole different story um, but here i'm going to go ahead through the process for the first time ever and here on video um, trying to make it possible to stream xbox game pass okay so first of all this we are here in the normal section right this is the game mode right here you know that you're gonna normally be playing video games right so what we want to do is we want to go to over here and power and go to switch to desktop okay we're going to switch to desktop uh keep in mind i'm doing this for the first time ever so if it works for me that's going to be awesome because i'm doing it here on video um i'm going to be using my keyboard that way i don't have to be touching the screen and also my mouse that way i don't have to be touching my screen as well if you want to use the the screen uh the keyboard that's um enabled on the steam deck all you got to do is press the steam and the x and you can you can see right there you can see the the keyboard popping up or you can also use your fingers okay but here what we want to do first is go ahead over here we're going to zoom in that way you can have a better view okay so here what we're going to do is this right here is the discover application which is basically like a store right uh right here i'm going to go ahead and choose choose edge or we'll search for edge uh, we're going to see this web browser here. Let's go ahead and install. Right here, we're going to go ahead and hit install. Right there is actually installing. You can open it up, see what's going on there, read a little bit about the description. Uh, let's go ahead and wait for it to finish installing. Come on. There you go. It actually installed completely. So now you have the option for remove, launch. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and launch it because when you launch it for the first time, um, you might get like a little tutorial about the browser. Okay, so right now we don't have that. That's good because I actually uninstalled it and installed it right now again here on video. But normally when you when you launch this for the first time, there's going to be like a tutorial. Just go through it and then close it again. We're going to close it there. We're going to close this again. And now we're going to go ahead right to the Steam store, uh, which is right here. Right, that's right here the steam store our steam store we're gonna go ahead right here in the bottom it says add a game and then it says add a non-steam game click right there and right here we're gonna look for edge which is the browser that we just installed so we got it right here microsoft edge click right there and x selected two programs there you go so now is should be added here let's see if we actually added this is in alphabetically order i think yeah there it is microsoft edge so it actually installed right there if we click on it we're gonna see the browser right here selected right but now let's go ahead and close this for a second and we're gonna go ahead here systems console now this right here in console we're gonna go ahead and copy something right after this i i already have the links copied here these are the links that i'm, I'm gonna be using um first of all i'll leave these things in my description that way you can copy and paste it where you're supposed to paste it so we're gonna go ahead and copy this one right here which is flip pack blah 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 we're gonna go ahead and choose copy let me see if i can paste here there you go so we paste it right there and now we can go ahead and enter and that's it so right now like you see i pasted it there i hit enter and nothing came up so that means that it did it correctly if you see like a lot of things popping up like screaming at you go ahead and do it again and make sure everything is as it's supposed to be okay just copy and paste it there and that's it you can use this button as well this has space right there and that's it so once you have that we're going to go ahead and close it now we're going to go ahead and open uh, steam again right let's go ahead and open steam again 
and we're gonna go ahead here to browser right here click properties click launch right here where it says launch options we're gonna go ahead back to the clipboard this is my clipboard this is what we're gonna copy and paste where I'm gonna explain okay so here we're, I'm gonna go ahead and copy I'm gonna copy that right and over here we're gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end do not delete that do, don't delete anything that you see there we're just gonna go ahead all the way to the end where there's like at 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 we're gonna hit one space and we're gonna go ahead and paste there you go so right now we pasted that right there that I just show you guys right there so it's supposed to look like this right now like you see that we're gonna go ahead and see it says kiosk it says blah 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 device scale now this was supposedly what it does it controls it makes sure that the, when you open the application it opens up like an application and not like the browser supposedly that's what it is so okay so like you see right there right after the at at make sure you leave a space and you copy everything else that you saw right there now that we have that we could close right we could go ahead and close here right and now we should be able to also we have to add control okay we're gonna have to add control uh, manage uh, controller layout okay so once you open controller layout we're gonna go ahead and browse for uh, controller configuration and we're gonna go into templates click templates right here what so what we have to choose is gamepad with mouse trackpad okay so we're going to choose that and now we should go ahead and make sure you actually click here apply configuration right make sure you hit apply configuration and now we should be ready and done we should be done already so we can actually close this is there like let me click click done okay so now we can click done and now we here and we're done so with that we are done right so another thing that you might want to do is that when you launch this um, from your application you might want to see like the logo from you know the logo from xbox and all that so we can actually do that here as well i'm going to use this link right here this you see i'm going to copy that link open chrome i'm going to copy that link right there paste and once you hit that, it's going to start downloading a package, a little package that's going to contain uh, an artwork that you need to actually customize that right there, that application from Microsoft Edge. So you, we can make it look like an application from Xbox Game Pass, right? So once it's finished, we're going to go ahead and open. I'm going to go ahead and extract this to another folder, which is not, which is not downloads because I have a whole bunch of stuff there. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose documents. Okay, extract to documents. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose this right here, property, and right here, right, we're gonna put a logo. We're gonna go ahead right there, I'm gonna choose right here, all files. There you go. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose um, home deck right there, documents, open, and we got, there you go open and we got a couple things here let's go ahead and choose the proper one um it says icon we're gonna choose the beta icon there you go ah i choose beta icon no we extracted the wrong one <laughs> no let's go back again yeah that's that was not the one we wanted we wanted to extract this one right here okay so make sure you actually click right here right click that right there click extract and we're gonna go ahead and extract it to documents again documents and extract there okay extract here yeah extract here good and uh, we're gonna go back again over here <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead back again let's go ahead and hit back and we got xbox gaming choose all files so we can see it and now we can actually see it okay so here we're gonna go ahead and choose uh gaming icon and there you go we got the little icon right there 
Awesome. We got that right there. Boom. Um, here in the art style, we're going to go ahead and choose background. We're going to go do the same thing. We're going to go ahead home deck. Um, da -da -da -da, home deck. Documents. Open up. Uh, we're going to choose all files. Um, open up. Uh, yeah. And we're going to choose. Let's see. We're going to choose. What is it? Uh huh. Cloud gaming. Uh, we're gonna choose banner. Banner. Okay. Banner, and there you go. We got the banner done there. For now, let's go ahead and leave it like that, because we really don't need to. We can still add another art, but right now we're gonna go ahead and finish. Right, I gotta return to gaming mode. Mine's over here, but most likely yours is gonna be over here. So I'm going to go ahead and return here to gaming mode. All right, it's going to take a while before it actually loads up. My background looks like this because I actually customized it. I made it look like that and I added a widget with my uh, calculator and also like a little watch right there or a little clock. Most likely, of course, obviously, the first time you open it, most likely, of course, we're going to have to go over here go to library right and here it is there it is there it is so we're gonna click click right there and uh, we're gonna click open and now it should let's see oh where well, I'm low so space I need to actually get some more space there there you go there you have it there you have it look at that oh my god this is the first time i'm actually loading this up and there it is wow so like you see there it actually loaded up like like an application it doesn't look like a browser at all it looks just like an xbox game pass application and now all we gotta do is sign in click sign in oh says refresh right refresh but right now we're gonna have to yeah sync all that sync to no no thanks and i'm just gonna go ahead and log in right now and that's it i already signed in into my xbox account uh like you see here you're gonna see your account up there right you can see your account up there subscription you can change the way uh, a couple things look here blah 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 and you got your application opened up you know and it actually feels when you're navigating around, it actually feels like an application. It doesn't really feel like you're navigating um, on the web browser. So when you click home right here, boom, it's going to look like a normal application. Um, yes, there is a way you can actually add the art style right there, but it's not necessary. Well, you can add art style there. Uh, we got the Xbox there, logo, we can resume, and we're right into it. And, of course, the cool thing here is that... Um, if you have good internet, you can just go ahead and click on one of the applications. Click right there, and look at that. It's just going to go ahead and connect to whatever, you know, it's just going to go ahead and stream whatever game is compatible with Xbox stream service. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Look at that. So now, you know, I can actually stream if I'm home instead of using another um, mobile handheld device that I have. I just play here and if I need to go like offline I'm gonna actually have to there use you know I'm gonna have to actually use whoop, friends whoop, I'm going to the most now I can just continue playing here and continue very cool game if you like game like um, Animal Crossing uh, you really good. and Disney if you like Animal Crossing and Disney, you're going to love this game. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. We got to, here on video for the first time, I actually got to install or make it possible to stream my Xbox games from Game Pass. Like I said, I'll leave links in my descriptions, uh, just in case 
uh, you want to copy of course you're gonna need to copy those files that I told you guys to uh, the certain locations where you have to which I showed you so yeah let me know in the comments what you think about it this is Xbox Game Pass been played on the Steam Deck for the first time I decided to go ahead and do this because there's too many great things coming out on Xbox Game Pass and you know I just needed to do this <laughs> couldn't wait no more I didn't want to finish the video without explaining how to actually put the artwork for the for the application so I can actually look like a like a video game so all you gotta do right here when you click this is a, again back in the desktop mode right click right here you can see this it says favorites I'm going to add Microsoft Edge to favorites right open up here and now it should be here in favorites like you see there that way we can have easy access to it we're gonna right click here you're gonna go ahead to manage manage says custom artwork click custom artwork and here again we're gonna go ahead and look for the artwork that we downloaded right it's in documents right open up open up edge cloud and xbox cloud gaming put all files make sure all files we can see it and then here we're gonna go ahead and choose capsule xbox cloud gaming capsule click that and there you have it look at that now the application actually looks like a game or like uh, the browser actually looks like an app xbox game pass application and now we're done so we click on it we have the banner we have the icon right there we have the icon we have the banner and when we go back here we have oops go back here we have the artwork and that's it we are done so once you do once you do that and go back to your gaming section you're gonna see that application is actually the web browser is actually gonna look like an application for xbox game pass thanks for watching guys till next time bye bye let me know in the comments if you have any questions please leave it in the comments okay guys bye bye